Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm showing you how to record Minecraft in OBS. So I'll go over all of the different settings and things you have to keep in mind so that you can smoothly record Minecraft with OBS. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. If you by the way don't have OBS yet for some reason or you have a trouble downloading it, I have right here in the upper right corner a video on how to actually download OBS and how to install it. So in case you're having doubts about that, don't hesitate to watch that video. Now for this video specifically, I will go over Minecraft Java. So it also works for Minecraft for Windows. Both are the same idea, but I've seen that most Minecraft YouTubers actually still use Java as well. So I wanted to focus specifically on Java in this tutorial, but as I said, keep in mind that this also works for Minecraft for Windows. So let's jump right in. Now as you can see here on my desktop, I have the OBS logo. If I go on it and right click and go down here to properties and then I go to advanced and then here as you can see I check run as administrator so this will actually allow me to run this as administrator every time I launch up OBS so running OBS as administrator has actually also been admitted by the OBS team that it actually improves performance in recording no matter what you're recording but of course this video is specifically Minecraft so this is something I always advise you to do is if you launch OBS that you can also automatically run this as administrator okay so then there's actually a different tab up here which is going to be compatibility click on it now if you go down here to run this program as administrator so also make sure that that one is checked same idea it just allows you to launch OBS as administrator. Then up here, run this program in compatibility mode. In case you are running into problems, you can consider this. Now do choose between Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you check this one, you can just see if it generally affects the performance or not. If you're having any troubles, you could just see that as an option. But generally, you just want to keep this one unchecked. Then click apply and then click OK. So now to actually add the game capture for Minecraft itself. You first want to make sure that you have a scene. So you do it by right clicking and doing add and then do scene. You can name this whatever you want. Then you go into sources, you right click again, do add. And then in this case, we're going to start start with a game capture which is the one you want to go for by default this you can for example call minecraft click ok and here as you can see you have a couple of options this option here is actually what i talked about in my previous obs update it's actually called capture audio so it's still in beta as you can see and that'll actually allow as you can see down here to actually give you control over the sound of the game as well here down in obs but that's entirely up to you you can try that out once again it's in beta so it's completely flawless yet but i will also show you later on in the video how to actually set your volume in minecraft itself now up here in the mode you always want to make sure you do capture specific window then in the window itself you click on it and then you can see down here we have minecraft that's running click on it for rest it's mostly preferences but do make sure that down here you make sure that the color space is srgb and then click ok and do also make sure of course that the game in question is running when you do specific window always make sure that the game is running okay so there you go as you can see i just changed window to go into minecraft and as you can see it right here i just changed back and you can actually see the gameplay here already now in case the game doesn't show up or if you can see that the that the actual preview window because this is what's called the preview window is misplaced or minimalized you can actually do right click go to transform and here you can do reset transform or you can go down to fit to screen so these will both fix basically the ratio they will fix the screen in the preview window because you might have dragged it out or it might have been minimalized by obs itself so do make sure to check if you don't see the gameplay right away or if you see like a black screen that you can actually just do this one right here where you reset the transformation or you do fit the screen. So you can see right here it's to the right size. You can also alternatively just right click again and do resize output here, source size. Click on it and then the base and output resolutions will be resized to the size of the current source. Do you want to continue? You click yes and it should have a similar effect. Just something else you could try out. So I'm going into Minecraft itself here actually. I'm going to go to options right here. Click on video settings. And here as you can see if you go down in the video settings you will see the full screen here now if it's off it's obviously windowed and if it's on it will be full screen i can click done and go back to game so as you can see here we're in the world itself and as you can see here if i do this it will be windowed and that immediately brings me to the second point if you're having a hard time doing a game capture i'm going to show you an alternative I actually do odd here again and i'm going to go down to window capture now same here as a preference but we can just call this minecraft again click ok and here in window we obviously want to specifically choose in this case minecraft capture method you can keep it on automatic you can consider the other two but generally you want to keep that on automatic then this one you can just choose the one i chose click ok as you can see you can already pretty clearly see why i don't like window mode it will not have the right ratio probably not have the right ratio for youtube videos which will be 920 by 1080 so even if i click here i do transform and then i go to fit the screen here you'll see it gives some black bars here up and down so it's not ideal you always have some kind of uh, black bars here if you're using the window mode and also using a specific window recording so that's the disadvantage of that so no unfortunately windowed capture does not work with full screen so that's something you have to keep in mind is very important it does unfortunately does not work so that's why i don't generally advise you to use window mode nor window capture so that's why i'm going to remove it here as you can see i'll just do remove here 
topic, yes. Now I'm going to show you the best way, I would say, to record Minecraft alternatively if you don't use game capture. I'm just going to go back here to Odd. I'm going to select Display Capture here. It's going to call it once again Minecraft. Why not? I'm going to click OK here. And here, so you want it to be on Automatic. And Display. I only have one display. If you have multiple ones, make sure you select the right one. But I'm just going to go with the only one I have. Click OK here. Okay, so now as you can see, I will actually record a little bit of Minecraft. So I'll record a little bit of the gameplay to show you how it will turn out if I actually use a Display Capture instead of a Game Capture. So as you can see here at the end, it's remixing. It says Remix Recordings 99%. This basically means MKV to mp4 to make sure that while you're recording your recording crashes or anything like that that you still have the recording by the end but i will show you that in a minute in the settings very important do keep that in mind so as you can see with both recordings the first one here is the mkv file and this here is going to be the mp4 file once again i'll explain later what the difference is so let's just watch them let's see how it turned out as you can see here we see a little bit of the gameplay what i basically recorded nothing crazy as you can see here i'm going to fly a bit just to give you an idea so as you can see the recording turned out great no problems but something that I wanted to generally tell you, which is very important, if you do display capture, if you have to resort to using display capture, make sure that you take down the settings. I can also show you that in a minute, I will do that in detail if you don't know how. I also have up here in the right corner a video for low end PCs in case you need that. But basically, if you do display capture, it takes more performance. So take down the settings because it will be more demanding than a game capture. So do keep that in mind. And once again, I will go over what you can alternatively do as settings if you're going to go for display capture. Anyway, as you can see here, I just put the game capture back using Minecraft as a specific window. So now I actually wanted to give you something else to prove the performance and to make sure that OBS, the recording of OBS and the recording of Minecraft has a priority. So to do that, I'm going to go to, into the task manager. And I can do this with two ways. You can do control alt delete on your keyboard, or I can actually more easily click right here on the toolbar, or actually more simply, you can go down here to the taskbar, right click on it and click task manager here. As you can see here are all the apps and programs running. You could right click OBS here and go go to details, or you can already immediately go to details down here and then you can go just search for OBS itself. Now when we're here you can actually just right click on OBS, set priority and then select above normal, high or real time. One of the three. And this is actually very important once again to give OBS a priority of the recording and also to improve the performance of the recording in this case specifically Minecraft. So in case you're running into any kind of problems or you can see that your OBS is having a hard time and so make sure that OBS is a high priority. Now a different way to set the priority. We actually want to go down here to the search bar. I'm going to type graphic settings. There you go. Now here make sure first of all the desktop app is selected here. So always make sure that desktop app is selected then here we're going to go to browse so here in browse you'll probably start here from your local c disk so we'll use the disk that it's installed on obviously just going to click it here go to program files and search for obs studio bin 64 bit and then here as you can see we have the application of obs 64 here click it and down here as you can see it has been added and now as you just added here you can actually go to the options of it as you can see mine is high you have let windows decide power saving and you have high performance now it is very important that you select your graphics card here or in any case your gpu because my power saving the one that you see right there is actually my processor it's not made for the actual graphic performance of in this case obs power saving can actually be a better option for you and for example um, for example some laptops so make sure you check out what works best for you but i think generally speaking choice here will be high performance because as you can see mine this will be my nvidia geforce graphics card so obviously i want to use that because my gpu so obviously i want to use that because it will be the highest performance and i know that will give my recordings a priority and once again a high performance quality of recording which playing games like minecraft is very big factor in then down here you can see a box that says don't use optimizations for windowed games really you don't really need to check that one you can leave that one unchecked and then you click save Okay, now back here in OBS, I actually wanted to show you something very important is to go to settings. So here in the general tab, nothing to note really, just some general things. Make sure that maybe the updates are checked so that you automatically get updates on the start of OBS could be really useful. For the rest, nothing really to note here. We're going to go to the output tab here. Make sure the output mode is on advanced first of all. We're going to go to recording tab here because this is for recording. Then here also make sure that update type is standard. For the rest, I mean, this is my recording path. Just make sure that you want to know where you've saved your videos when they're done recording. That's up to you. As you can see here, this is what I talked about earlier. It's MKV recording format this one we will later put into so remix translate pretty much into mp4 and i'll show you that a bit later on because that's very important because once again if your computer has any problem it crashes it gets corrupt anything happens mkv actually stops the moment it stops recording so you wouldn't lose any of the recordings that's very useful if you're going to do hours of gameplay so that's why i definitely advise you to mkv and once again i will show you how you can actually automatically remix that 
to MP4. But also what has been recent is that you have now fragmented MP4 and fragmented MOV. That basically means that it sometimes saves the file up upon a certain point. So it actually, so basically it's recorded in multiple segments, gets saved until a certain point, but doesn't necessarily guarantee you that actually all of the video will be saved if something happens once again to your PC all of a sudden. So it is definitely an option, but I'll still without doubt go for MKV and then into MP4. Yeah, graphics card, obviously I selected mine and Nvidia. Make sure that if you have an Nvidia, you do specifically the Nvidia NVENC H264 to be specific. And otherwise, if you don't have a graphics card or not a good one, you can go for X264. This is an alternative, and so this is also something you could use if your computer isn't that good, go for these settings because it should be able to do gameplay pretty decently for once again a pretty low end PC. So definitely consider that one if Minecraft and OBS are having a way too hard time. And so in case you want to select N264, you want to select CRF here and then you just play around with the numbers. Just see which one works well for you. Normally the lower the better quality. So make sure you play around with that, see what works best if you see a difference. And this here in the CPU usage, make sure it's always on ultra fast. Never anything underneath ultra fast. And once again, you have to see for the numbers if you're going to go for N264. And once again, go for rate control CRF. But anyway, I'm just going to keep back to my settings here. So audio encoder, make sure it's that one. Then audio tracks I have. Then audio tracks I have two. So one for microphone, one for my desktop sound. And then the other ones could be, for example, the gameplay of the game in question. Now here you have nothing to change. Now I do a CQP because I have a pretty good computer. I think that's 70 worked well for me and then here I choose the slowest because that's best quality as you can see tuning high quality same the rest nothing really to touch here audio no matter how many audio tracks you use I put them all to 320 but also you should put them to 320 the audio bitrate now going to the audio here and the recording it was not plugged in but basically here if you go to the mic you have to select your microphone among those settings here I have the Blue Yeti microphones so I would have chosen that and desktop audio is what you want. I just use my speakers, my headphones. Up here, it's very important though. Do sample rate 48 kHz and then channels always on stereo, of course. Now going here to the video tab. My screen is 24 inch, so 920 by 1080. Which is something that I definitely advise you to do. Always do the screen resolution that you have. So we have here, for example, over 2K. Or go for 4K, whatever spec ratio you have, go for it. Make sure it can be brought down to the 920 by 1080 that YouTube has. And it should be all right. So make sure that the output resolution is also correct here. So that you don't have any zoomed in footage, as we saw earlier, or any black bars of course okay then this that's up to you you can watch switch down scale filter you want to do and then here in fps you can do 30 but i really don't advise it even for the low npcs you really should go for 60 this is a preference you can do for example start recording just to pause the recording you know these are all optional it's really up to you it could be useful when you're gaming and you want to actually use some keys to actually start and stop recording if you really want to start immediately into the game then here in advanced same here for the priority this still works on the priority of obs if you can put this on above normal or high could also be something that helps once again to make it easier for obs to process any recordings now here direct 3d 11 and nv12 here just make sure the color space 709 and here unlimited you could do full but that's up to you you have to check it for yourself the footage could be a bit more darker the recording so make sure you check that out and then here the very important part this is where we're going to automatically remix to mp4 so make sure that the mkv is selected and then also make sure that this one is selected obviously and this will mean that at the end of the recording Recording as will make the MKV file as we saw earlier and also the MP4 file. Once again, if it's corrupted, your PC shuts off all of a sudden, you have that recording up until the point you recorded it. So make sure you select this one, very important once again. Especially if you're going to do gameplays like Minecraft. Okay, then always hit apply here and then of course OK. Now here is very important. I'm going to go to desktop audio here and just show you the advanced audio properties. Here's going to be everything. So including the game, as you can see, I have Minecraft here. He remembered that. But basically here's where you control the sound. Generally speaking of a channel. So as you can see, I have my desktop audio here. I have my microphone. And here you can link it to any track you want. Now if I do, for example, here number three for Minecraft. If I would want to do that. So make sure that you can actually test out the beta for the capture audio while recording. And this you can actually go into the options so you can actually go into the music and sounds here go to the audio options and basically when we're here in music and sound options now whatever you see here don't take it as the best settings what i have right here the volumes the amount of volumes as you can see i have the music here at like 55 weather 40 hostile creatures 45 you know uh, blocks at 50 you know you don't have to do it like i do exactly once again really important make sure that you do and set these volumes do a bit of mixing here so that the block sounds aren't too loud the creature sounds aren't too quiet the music is at a good level it's important to actually check for yourself how you're gonna do this so yes it's so important to do the audio in obs but also in minecraft itself don't just let everything at 100 percent and make yourself barely listenable we really do some testing here as i said with the music the creatures to make sure that you have all of the volumes set to an amount that you like and once again that we can hear your voice in your recording because at the end of the day that's what we want 
want to mainly hear is you hear talk over your gameplay and in the background you hear the, as I said the things like music and blocks but a bit quieter than your actual voice. So do keep that in mind, very important once again. And so once again here in the advanced audio properties make sure you also do it to the right track. Make sure they're not on the same track as your microphone or as your desktop audio, make sure they are apart, very important, on different tracks basically. Now also if I go here to filters of my microphone, as you can see here I have some gain, I have some EQ and then I have an expander, compressor limiter. It's also very important in which order you do this kind of things. This will actually make my voice better and yours as well. No matter which microphone you have, it will make your sound better in OBS. So actually make sure to check out this video as well above in the right corner here. It actually goes in detail about how to get these kind of settings and also to make personally your voice better with your microphone in question. Once again, no matter which one you have, it will make the sound better. And you don't need another software, you can do this, just do this within OBS. That's really the advantage here as well. The last thing I wanted to actually talk about, very important, if I just remove Minecraft here or I hide it. As you can see, I have a black screen here. Now I've already shown you some ways in this video to actually avoid the black screen, like process priority as we saw fit to screen if it for example minimalized or the recording isn't working you can al alternate between game capture and display capture but if you really have a big problem with black screen don't hesitate to check out this video also up here in the right corner it will actually go over how you can actually fix that black screen if you've been having that trouble on and off for some time or you really just can't go further and you really always have a black screen don't hesitate to watch that video as well i put a lot of solutions in that video and should really help you out so I really hope you will check that one out if you really need to, of course. But in any case, guys, that's all I wanted to say here. I really tried to go over all of the details on how to record Minecraft here, going over the specifics, the different ways you could do it if you're running into any problems. So if you have still any questions, leave them down below. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe to us, be really nice. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.